Beginning Friday, June 12, Los Angeles County enters Stage 3 of California's Resilience Roadmap. In North Hills, Mylene Cusho has the details. Thank you, Alan. Beginning Friday, June 12, Los Angeles County enters Stage 3 of California's Resilience Roadmap. Businesses and workplaces considered at high risk will be allowed to reopen after months of being shut down due to the coronavirus pandemic. Those included in this reopening are gyms and facil fitness facilities, professional sports, but without live audiences, day camps, museums, galleries, zoos, and aquariums, campgrounds, RV parks, music, film, and television production, hotels, lodging and short-term rentals for tourism and individual travel. All of these sectors will reopen under strict requirements to implement major infection control procedures. Specific infection control measures will apply to different workplace, workplaces, but a couple of the rules that workers and customers can expect will be the physical distancing and face covering requirements. How this will play out at, say, uh, for instance, a basketball game or a visit to the gym remains to be seen. But whatever the case may be, Angelinos need to realize that things will not be the same as they were before the pandemic. Gyms are a good example of how day-to-day -day operations will change. Under the reopening guidelines, both employees and gym members must be checked for symptoms. <clears throat> Cloth face coverings, too, must be worn by everyone entering and leaving the gym. For instance, there's a recommendation to wear face coverings when entering and <clears throat> leaving the gym. And um, for the face coverings, you have to wear them while you're exercising, which in itself is has or brings obvious questions. Physical distancing must still be observed, uh, which includes personal trainers keeping six feet distance from clients, and once again, all the while wearing face covering. There will be a reduction of how many people can be in a gym or in a training class, and so the likelihood of members will have to schedule their visits to the gym. Disinfecting wipes must be made available and must be used to clean every piece of equipment you use before and after you use it. An alternative to this is that tags must be used to clean a piece of equipment. Uh, uh, tags must be used to identify that staff should clean that particular equipment. And when it comes to saunas, Steam rooms and hot tubs, forget about it. That won't happen. Uh, they will still remain closed. And as usual, if someone isn't feeling well, please stay home. For the other sectors that are reopening, these are even more, there are even more regulations that need to be kept in mind. So for a complete list, please visit the county's COVID-19 website. A quick note, agencies like the Department of Public Health will be closely monitoring infection rates and other data to see what effect this reopening will have. And if there's a spike in coronavirus cases, they can recommend to limit more establishments from opening or even close down the ones that have reopened for stage three. In Los Angeles County, the number of new cases increased with 1,857 newly reported cases and 46 new deaths. The total number of confirmed cases in the county uh, is 68,875 with 2,813 deaths as announced today by the Los Angeles Public Health Department. Meanwhile, the state of California currently has a total of 139,281 confirmed COVID-19 cases and 4,881 deaths 
as recorded by the California Department of Public Health. In North Hills, California, Mylene Cusio, Eagle News, we live in interesting times. Back to you, Alan. Uh, Mylene, this news of the stage three reopening, it's, it's certainly encouraging, but at the same time highlights some of the challenges that everyone will have to adapt to. Yes, it will be an adjustment for sure. Uh, take face coverings. Wearing one for a long period of time isn't at all enjoyable. One of my colleagues recently had to proctor an exam for testers in, in a room observing physical distancing, of course. But let me tell you, it was a three-hour test, and he said having to constantly breathe in his own recirculated breath was, was very uncomfortable. And reading a, from a script was not pleasant. Let me tell you, my husband and I, we go hiking in the morning. We wear a mask, but under our chin, it's only when we come across other hikers do we actually put it over our, our nose and mouth because it, it's uncomfortable again and it cuts off your oxygen intake. So let's see how it goes for people working out at the gym, if they'll be able to keep a face covering on while breathing hard. Uh, I'll let you know when I go to the gym. I'll let you know oh. how it turns out. <laughs> right, but, but wearing face masks at the gym, that's still just a recommendation though, right? Because you can't imagine them using it uh, all the time when they're working out. Uh, yes, it, that's correct. It's only a recommendation, um, <clears throat> Alan. According to the county, uh, county's COVID website, wearing a mask or face covering while working out is still only a recommendation for now. Uh, well, you know, that, that's too bad it, that it's a recommendation instead of a regulation, because if it was a regulation that you had to wear a face covering, I'd be back at the gym myself, you know, doing uh, like uh, when you pull yourself up in a bar. I don't know what that's called. Oh, oh, yes. That's called a pull up, Alan. Pull up. Exactly. Yeah, you're, you're speaking my language from one gym rat to another. So uh, thanks a lot, Mylene, for reminding me of how to work out. Oh, you're welcome. Anytime. Thank you, Alan. Thank you.